Adiabatic quantum computation (AQC) is a form of quantum computing which relies on the adiabatic theorem to do calculations and is closely related to and may be regarded as a subclass of quantum annealing. Topic: <laughs> Description First, a potentially complicated Hamiltonian is found whose ground state describes the solution to the problem of interest. Next, a system with a simple Hamiltonian is prepared and initialized to the ground state. Finally, the simple Hamiltonian is adiabatically evolved to the desired complicated Hamiltonian. By the adiabatic theorem, the system remains in the ground state, so at the end the state of the system describes the solution to the problem. Adiabatic quantum computing has been shown to be polynomially equivalent to conventional quantum computing in the circuit model. The time complexity for an adiabatic algorithm is the time taken to complete the adiabatic evolution, which is dependent on the gap in the energy eigenvalues spectral gap of the Hamiltonian. Specifically, if the system is to be kept in the ground state, the energy gap between the ground state and the first excited state of H T display style H T provides an upper bound on the rate at which the Hamiltonian can be evolved at time T display style T. When the spectral gap is small, the Hamiltonian has to be evolved slowly. The runtime for the entire algorithm can be bounded by T equals O one G M I N two Display style t equals o left frac one g underscore min carrot two right, where g m i n display style g underscore min is the minimum spectral gap for h t display style h t. AQC is a possible method to get around the problem of energy relaxation. Since the quantum system is in the ground state, interference with the outside world cannot make it move to a lower state. If the energy of the outside world, that is the temperature of the bath, is kept lower than the energy gap between the ground state and the next higher energy state, the system has a proportionally lower probability of going to a higher energy state. Thus the system can stay in a single system eigenstate as long as needed. Universality results in the adiabatic model are tied to quantum complexity and QMA hard problems. The K local Hamiltonian is QMA complete for K2. QMA hardness results are known for physically realistic lattice models of qubits such as H equals I H I Z I plus I J J I J Z I Z J plus I J K I J X I X J. Display style H equals sum underscore I H underscore I Z underscore I plus sum underscore I where Z X display style Z X represent the Pauli matrices sigma z sigma x display style sigma underscore z sigma underscore x such models are used for universal adiabatic quantum computation the hamiltonians for the qma complete problem can also be restricted to act on a two dimensional grid of qubits or a line of quantum particles with 12 states per particle 
If such models were found to be physically realizable, they too could be used to form the building blocks of a universal adiabatic quantum computer. In practice, there are problems during a computation. As the Hamiltonian is gradually changed, the interesting parts quantum behavior as opposed to classical occur when multiple qubits are close to a tipping point. It is exactly at this point when the ground state one set of qubit orientations gets very close to a first energy state a different arrangement of orientations. Adding a slight amount of energy from the external bath, or as a result of slowly changing the Hamiltonian could take the system out of the ground state, and ruin the calculation. Trying to perform the calculation more quickly increases the external energy, scaling the number of qubits makes the energy gap at the tipping points smaller. topic adiabatic quantum computation in satisfiability problems adiabatic quantum computation solves satisfiability problems and other combinatorial search problems by the process below generally this kind of problem is to seek for a state that satisfies c 1 C two C M display style C underscore one wedge C underscore two wedge C D O T S wedge C underscore M. This expression contains the satisfiability of M clauses. Each clause C I display style C underscore I has the value true or false and can involve n bits each bit here is a variable X J element of 0 1 display style X underscore J in 0 1 so C I display style C underscore I is a Boolean value function of x one x two x n display style x underscore one x underscore two dots x underscore n QAA solves this kind of problem using quantum adiabatic evolution. It starts with an initial Hamiltonian H B display style H underscore B H B equals H B one plus H B two plus plus H B M Display style H underscore B equals H underscore B underscore one plus H underscore B underscore two plus dots plus H underscore B underscore M where H B I display style H underscore B underscore I shows the Hamiltonian corresponding to the clause C I display style C underscore I. Usually, the choice of H B I display style H underscore B underscore I won't depend on different clauses, so only the total number of times each bit involved in all clauses matters. 
then it goes through an adiabatic evolution, ending in the problem Hamiltonian H P display style H underscore P H P equals C H P C display style H underscore P equals sum limits underscore C carrot H underscore P C where H P C display style H underscore P C is the satisfying Hamiltonian of clause C. It has eigenvalues H C Z one C Z two C Z N C equals zero clause C satisfied one clause C violated display style H underscore C Z underscore one C Z underscore two C dots Z underscore N C equals begin cases zero and M box clause C M box satisfied one and M box clause C M box violated end cases for a simple path of adiabatic evolution with running time t. Consider h t equals one minus t t h b plus t t h p Display style h t equals one t t h underscore b plus t t h underscore p, and let s equals t t display style s equals t t. We have h tilde s equals 1 minus s h b plus s h p Display style tilde H S equals 1 S H underscore B plus S H underscore P which is the adiabatic evolution Hamiltonian of our algorithm. According to the adiabatic theorem, we start from the ground state of Hamiltonian H B at beginning, go through an adiabatic process, and at last ending in the ground state of problem Hamiltonian H P display style H underscore P. Then we measure the Z component of each of the n spins in the final state. This will produce a string Z one Z two Z n Display style z underscore one z underscore two dots z underscore n, which is highly likely to be the result of our satisfiability problem. Here, the running time t must be sufficiently long to assure the correctness of result, and according to adiabatic theorem, t is about epsilon g m I N two display style ver epsilon per gram underscore mathrm min carrot two where G M I N equals min zero S one E one S minus E 
zero S Display style G underscore Mathram min equals min underscore zero LEQS LEQ one E underscore one S E underscore zero S is the minimum energy gap between ground state and first excited state. Topic D wave quantum processes. The D-Wave 1 is a device made by a Canadian company D-Wave Systems which describes it as doing quantum annealing. In 2011, Lockheed Martin purchased one for about $10 million. In May 2013, Google purchased a D-Wave 2 with 512 qubits. As of now, the question of whether the D-Wave processors offer a speed-up over a classical processor is still unanswered. Tests performed by researchers at Quantum Artificial Intelligence Lab NASA, USC, ETH Zurich, and Google show that as of now, there is no evidence of a quantum advantage. Notes <laughs>